What up, though, Heist Man Defoe? Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Yesterday, I'm looking at YouTube and the video of this dude right here pop up. His name is Corey Kenshin. I guess that's how you say his name. I don't really know nothing about this dude, man. Only thing I know about it, he's a better YouTuber than me. Because every time my children see him, they be like, you need to be like him. But that ain't what we talking about, man. He had a video yesterday, or the day before yesterday, called YouTube Racism and Favoritism. And when I seen that, my ears perked right up. I'm like, oh, yes, this is what I'm going to talk about that. Yeah, I'm going to talk about this. He started going into it like how they do some of his videos and stuff, man. Like, he's talking about Markiplier, this other guy from YouTube. I don't know these people, man, so don't get me wrong, man. But I'm saying... The racism and favoritism stuff he was talking about, I was looking like, yo, he not lying. He not lying, yo. Because some of that stuff be happening to me. I can put up a video. Like, first of all, I ain't putting it on my channel that's not monetized, no way. Like, it got to be fully monetized um, for my videos, at least. Now, I go live, I might say something and then I might go limited. But I'm saying with the live video, I mean, with the with the videos I make, if you're looking through the watch call it, we call it the um the YouTube thing, the analytics. You see if they all be green because they, they fully monetize. And I say they be doing some of that favoritism stuff for me because like if I do a black video, like saying something about any ra random regular black person that's doing something in these streets, I'm talking about, and I be towing the line. I'm talking about, I be trying to not say stuff like, man. They got into it. Not say they fought. Not, I'm not saying in these keywords, these trigger words. Not saying they had a, a gun. I said, man, they got the blicky. They, you know, I just be hamming it up, man. Like going all the way out the way to not say keywords and stuff, bad words, curse words. Like I barely curse in the videos just because I wanted to be fully monetized. So when I do that, they make that video fully monetized every time, right? And I'll be like, okay, and it, it shoots off. Like, it probably do, what, 20, 30 views, something like that. But then when I do a white video, and I call them white videos, because it be talking about somebody like Ann Hayes or Justin Timberlake, just regular random white people. And they do not monetize those videos as fast as they do the black videos, quote, unquote, black videos. This would be like, this is the... Like, it's be the number one story happening. I'll probably be, like, on it, not first or second, but I'll be one of the first few, you know, doing the video on it. And they sitting there making a limited monetization. And I'm looking like, then the numbers just go outrageous. Like, they take off of, like, how is that? Like, I'm saying maybe it's reverse racism. They, they letting me get the black stuff off and not the white stuff. But I'm sitting there like... This don't this don't feel right. It's something it's something it's all kind of stuff like that to be happening inside these videos. And I'm I'm saying this as a as a content creator that I see and I'd be like, something ain't right. Maybe I'm not explaining this right, but I'm saying I feel a certain way. So when he did this, I'm looking like, man, this a big dog talking like that, yo. Um What's his name? Corey Kenshin. Like I said, I don't really know this dude, man. But I'm saying this, like, if he coming out speaking on this, I got to say something, too. Not like, like my, uh, what, 2,000 subs, something like that. But I don't know. I feel like my my algorithm should be better than what it is. Like, the hard work, maybe not the hard work that I put in, but this off a, a thumbnail or something, you know. Like, it should have more views and more eyes on it. Like, the favoritism stuff, like, yeah, I mean, I see... I can understand that. Like, yo, he ain't got nothing but like 2,000 subs. Why they gonna, we gonna help him out. But it is some, some like, yo, why this video only got 30 views on it versus this one having more on it? And I say they slowing the money up. I mean, it ain't no money. It's a difference between 27 cent and 42 cent. I mean, that's it. You know, it's, it's no money. But I'm saying like, when I do those stories that saying that, this such and such rapper got murked or something like that. Um, they'll make it, they'll monetize it. Like they'll just go, just boom, fully monetize. And it'd be like stuff that's really towing the line, you know? But then when I put up a white storm, like, yo, what's, what's my man? Harrison Ford. He just 
got into a car accident or something. Not even saying nothing like that. I can say something like, he finna be in the new movie. And they sit there and, and slow it down. It's like, yo, that's crazy. I don't know. It also happened with other channels. I have another channel also that um I put the same video up, same title, topic, whatever. And the, the channel does not monetize because I only have one of my channels monetized. The channel does not monetize. It takes off. I'm talking about I put the same video up, same time, same everything. And it was like boom, boom. Like one of them had 40,000 views. Yeah, no, 36,000 views on my unmonetized channel. And my monetized channel only had like 17. I was like, what? I'm just sitting there looking at it like, yo, that's money. That's not money. You know, well, I'm, I'm sitting there looking at the money I'm losing. Like I'm saying, it, it is not money. But I see the stuff, man. So I'm saying this little YouTube favoritism, racism stuff. I gotta um, I gotta believe it, yo. What's the dude, man? I seen another dude do um a penguin. I think that's his name, Penguin Two Point Oh, something like that. He came out the bat for the Corey Kinchin dude. I'm just gonna say his name a hundred times because my kids they gonna talk. My kids gonna see this video. They were like, "You doing the video about him?" That's I'm, I make a thumbnail for him and everything. This for my kids, man. Um, but yeah. I lost my train of thought for a second, man. But, yo, I got to figure this out, man. Like, <coughs> YouTube or whatever. Highlight me, man. Push my videos. Pump my videos through. I done did a lot of videos and a lot of stuff, you know. But I just, see, I don't see the, um, I don't see the growth. There is a little bit of growth in the channel, whatever. Blase, blase is happening. But I'm just saying, I feel like it can be bigger. I see, like, I feel like they holding me down and they i mean the the youtube people I, I, oh another thing that happened last week they um didn't fully monetize the video they gave a limited monetization monetization and um i had a senate you know do a what do you call it an appeal and in the appeal they told me they not going to make it fully monetize monetized because i was referring to drugs and drug use be quiet, hear my dog barking. Drug use and drug paraphernalia. And when I when I, I got the feedback, I'm looking like this is not true. I did not speak of drugs or nothing or no form, shape, fashion, nothing like that. I'm looking like this is wrong. And they just said, nah, we don't care. I mean, they ain't say that, but I'm saying the story had to do something about ice cream or popsicle. It could have had something to do with whatever it was. It, it was just blatantly wrong. I'm looking like I have I, I talked nothing about drugs in this maybe they hit the wrong button maybe the button underneath it was gonna be the one that they was talking about like yo this for drugs and this is for animal cruelty maybe whatever they hit the wrong button i don't know how i'm explaining this the wrong way the right way but either way i feel like they played me and i wind up taking the video down it was still eligible to play it was going to get limited ads it was it was cool it was cool it was cool to go through it wasn't struck or nothing but I just don't like seeing that one piece of yellow. You looking down the your thing, you see it green, 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 yellow, green, 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 all that. I don't like to see that. I'm I'm petty like that. That's why I answer every um comment because I don't want to see the comments in there. I just I gotta at least say hi, smiley face, something like that. I don't know, man. YouTube racism and favoritism. Y'all need to start putting me out there, man. P promote me, the heist man, right here on this channel every Friday. I go live, man, at 9 p.m. Um, I don't know nothing about, I got some of the worst numbers when it come down to my lives. To have over 2,000 subscribers, you would think I have at least, at least 100 vi video, I mean 100 views on each video. You understand? Video, not the lives. Shit. I think I just cursed. But shit. I might get 30. I might average 30. 30 views a video. That's, I don't know, man. Maybe I got to start doing more different content. Nah. Anyway, Corey Kenshin. Um, 
it was a YouTube racism and favoritism. Y'all should go check that out on his channel because he explained some stuff, man. He explained some stuff by him doing some stuff and only one being demonetized for it. Like, and like 30 other YouTubers did the same thing and him being a black male, they didn't do him, they didn't do him right, yo. I'm saying, I'm, I'm feeling this because I can, I can see the stuff, man. YouTube, they be messing with me, man. I just want them to them really mess with me. Fuck with me. Anyway, I go live on the channel talking about stuff just like this every Friday. Y'all just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. Holler at your boy. Tell Corey Kenshin to say what's up to my kids or something. Or something. I don't know. Anyway. Hi, let your boy, Heist Man the Folk, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.